Hey guys, it's me, King Boxing Nerd, with another video. King Canelo. King Canelo? Well, um, let's start off by uh, congratulating Canelo Alvarez becoming the uh, first undisputed champion in the history of Mexico. So, you know, you got to give them props for that. And props to Caleb Plant for lasting 11 rounds with Canelo. Um, I uh, was impressed with Caleb, man. The shoulder roll, that was working. Uh, it's too bad he wasn't following up, you know, that shoulder roll with any anything significant. Like, like Floyd did. <laughs> that right hand from Floyd. But um, it is what it is. I mean, he tried and uh, and uh, Canelo just uh, outmuscled him. But Canelo didn't look impressive either. It was just lately I've seen a pattern with Canelo where he's a slow starter and he picks up the pace and he outmuscles his opponents towards the end. He's got to be a little careful with that because what uh, when you meet a boxer like Floyd and Eddie Slandi Lara, it's it's harder to uh, do that in the later rounds. But uh, it is what it is. Some people like him. Some people don't like Canelo. Mm, I got mixed feelings. He's a good fighter. Don't get me wrong. But is he that good? Are the are the opponents that competitive? Or does he make it look easy? I mean, is he in an era where it's not his fault? There's not enough good opponents? Who knows? Uh, time will tell. But what's next? I mean, I've always thought that Charlo, Jamal Charlo, has what it takes to beat Canelo. But then there's also the uh, mental aspect of the game. Uh... I don't know if Jamal is tough mentally if he was to fight Canelo. But who knows? I mean, I would favor Jamal still over Canelo. Um, David Benavides seems like an interesting opponent. Big guy, punches hard. Uh, we'll see if that fight does happen. And then there's Bibol, who is, you know, big guy. Sort of slow, but, you know, a hard puncher nonetheless. And better be it, which is, the, the to me, the bigger risk of them all. Uh, savage puncher. Not that skilled, but can crack. But, you know what would it really, like, excite us boxing fans again? I don't know what it is, but... Gennady Golovkin, man, that... You know, Gennady Golovkin comes forward, attacks, maybe doesn't throw as much body shots as I would like, but he's still, nonetheless, a great fighter. And uh, when it comes to Golovkin, man, Mexicans, we love Golovkin. So <laughs> hopefully we'll get that third fight. So, yeah, I mean, people are divided. Some people, especially uh, people that are kind of new to boxing, they don't know the history that much, so they think Canelo is the greatest thing that ever walked the earth but if you look back at boxing history uh no there's been a lot of great fighters before him um so mad respects you know to all those fighters and history will tell where canelo uh, ends up in the history books um we will know and a little brief history of canelo alvarez and maybe why Mexicans don't half half of them are divided uh, Chavez man that's the reason it, it's just hard uh, you know after Chavez retired a lot of Mexicans were looking for the next Julio Cesar Chavez and they just don't see it in Canelo and and that's because you know Canelo's different pers uh, you know personality and uh, style of boxing you know it's just different you gotta take it for what it is but when Canelo first started uh, he was picked up by a network in Mexico called Televisa and uh, which you know Televisa is known for uh, their soaps and uh, 
so the novelas. And uh, you know, here is a kid that freaking look Irish, man. I mean, <laughs> they tend to like that in Mexico, and which is wrong, you know. In Mexico, uh, Mexico, Mexico, Mexicans are we're not. There's no race, you know. It's we're just made up of different white Europeans and Middle Eastern, and I mean, you name it. There's a mix, even black. I mean, we're all mixed in Mexico. And, uh, but here was this kid, you know, that looked blonde and, and I guess they wanted to promote this, you know, this product, they were pushing it and, uh, maybe, you know, of course, when he first started, he was getting easy fights, but that was just to promote, they needed to promote this product and because... Chavez had just retired, and uh, uh, Barrera, Morales, Marquez, uh, they they were not getting any younger. And uh, Israel Vasquez and Rafael Marquez beat the prime out of each other. <laughs> so they needed somebody new, and, and that's how he emerged. But, I mean, the kids got it better. Uh, after, I think the, fly, the fight against Floyd was... Uh, a learning experience he was green so he's gotten better but how good is he is he as good as what we see or and even then like you see his fights uh, he's bulking up a lot trying to be as a la Mike Tyson trying to get guys out of there but maybe a lot of weights not a lot of speed who knows he does kind of look slow in there but who knows? I mean, what do I know? I, I Canelo Alvarez, uh, people have mixed feelings. Some people like him, some people don't like him. I feel like he's yet to prove us something. There's something missing in this uh, cinnamon bagel or whatever pastry you want to call it. There's a missing ingredient. We don't know what it is, but... It's the comparisons, maybe. If What if Canelo would have fought a fighter like Bernard Hopkins? Jermaine uh, Taylor. And uh, Son of God, Andre Ward. That's what, we're, that's what we analyze, you know? How we, we, we need an opponent like that to know where Canelo is really at. Because he hasn't been challenged like that. He did, well, not only the one time against Floyd Mayweather and Eddie Slandilada. But, uh, well, you know, we'll see what he decides on the next fight. I hope it's Charlo. And uh, we will know. Let me know what you guys think. This was King Boxing. Please like and subscribe. Catch you guys later. Bye.